All right, good morning, everybody. Uh, this is section 4.3. We are talking about a new form of linear equation, one that we have not discussed yet, and it is called point-slope form. Okay, uh, we'll get into what that equation is, is in a slide or two. But uh, what I want to say first is uh, we have talked about several different forms of linear equations at this point, right? Uh, we have three, in fact, now after today. Uh, we've talked about slope intercept, which uh, is y equals mx plus b. We've talked about standard, uh, which we will reflect on again in the uh, our next lesson. And now we have this one called uh, point slope. So we've got these are just different ways of representing a linear equation, okay? Uh, and so you might be asking yourself, why do we need three different ways uh, of representing a line? And my big answer here is flexibility, because sometimes one fo one form of a linear equation presents advantages in terms of what we know than another form does, okay? Uh, so we're going to be answering a lot of the same types of questions as we have in the previous two, uh, but we are going to answer them in the point-slope form instead of the slope-intercept form. And it's also important to note that all of these things right here, they're interchangeable, meaning that we can always use some algebra uh, to go between the forms. All right. Uh, so, learning target today is you're going to be able to write an equation in point slope form given a variety of information. Uh, so, it, throughout the chapter, you're going to be given a point in the slope and write an equation in point slope form. You're going to be given an equation in point slope and you're going to need to be able to graph it. And given two points, you can write the equation of a line in point slope form. So, quick pause, head back to your Canvas lesson. There are uh, two questions there for you to answer. 